All right, Bill, thank you. Federal lawmakers are considering a bill to eliminate Social Security benefit penalties for retired public servants. Our Caitlin Ashbaugh joining us now to break down House Resolution 82. Caitlin, how long has it been since these penalties have been updated? Hey, Ann, well, it's been since the 80s, and for the first time since then, lawmakers will have that opportunity to address an issue for millions of firefighters, law enforcement officers, teachers, and other public servants, and they'll be doing that through a discharge petition. Basically, that would take H.R. 82 out of committee and straight to the floor for immediate consideration, speeding up the intention of a final vote. The bill would get rid of provisions that reduce Social Security benefits for those who receive other benefits, like a pension from a state or local government. It would also nix government pension offsets, which reduce benefits for spouses, widows and widowers who receive their own pensions. It would eliminate windfall elimination provision, prevent provisions, excuse me, which reduce Social Security for those who receive a pension or disability benefit from employers that do not withhold Social Security taxes. The issue is not a common one here in the low country, but it is a hot spot for departments in the upstate. Under current law in the state retirement system, organizers say workers are taking home less than 60 percent of their service worth. Firefighters, police officers and some teachers uh, are getting a pension. Uh, they're pretty much uh, penalized for, for, for getting that pension up to 40%. Um, so even though that they've paid their fair share into social security through their secondary employment, they don't see the- Well, the petition- the petition has received support from 218 lawmakers, one of them being South Carolina's own Representative Nancy Mace. Now, a final vote has not been scheduled yet, but they are expecting that vote to take place following the general elections in November. Reporting in Charleston, Caitlin Ashbaugh, Live 5 News.